Hello, welcome back to the second episode of Ones to Watch on Footy Accumulators, where we'll be taking a closer look at three players in depth with their football index potential in mind. Now, football index is a stock market for buying shares in players. So, if you think you know your football, you could be on to a winner. I'm joined, as always, by the legend that be, Alan McInally. How are we? All right. Very good, thanks, Ed. Yeah, last week we looked at Chris Morning. Yes. Um, who, after good performance in his Team Roma winning 3-1 against Verona at the weekend, his stock has gone up 2%, so it was a good one to flag up. So slow and steady from Chris Smalling. And if you haven't used it before, then as Emma said, Football Index is a stock market for buying and selling football players. And you could make some money with your knowledge. We're going to look at another three players today with high media dividend potential. And one that's gone a little bit under the radar that I watched last week. And that's media potential is a big part of Football Index as well, Emma. It really is. But the first guy we're going to have a look at is a man that you will all have heard of and definitely seen play. And that man is Wilfred Zaha, who has been linked with a move to Chelsea mm -hmm. if they have their ban lifted. The embargo has been a... It's almost been a blessing in disguise for, it for has. Frank Lampard. It has. It's like extent, done well. But I think if, uh, if the ban was listed, uh, lifted rather, and he can think about bringing Wilfred Zaha into the team... I think he might be tempted. Um, I think it'd be one that's on the radar of a few a few clubs, and there's no question that uh, Palace did well to keep Wilfred Zaha. But there's um, I don't think there's any doubt that he wants to taste the Manchester United where he was before. It didn't work out for him. I think he'd want to do that again, um, and I think it'd be something in your portfolio that you might be thinking about because you have to look forward a little bit at what may happen. And I think Wilfred will be certainly high on the agenda for lots of clubs. Absolutely. Well, I know you're a fan of Willian, but yep. what do you make of him compared to him? I still think Frank would want to keep Willian. I think Willian's done a very yeah, good job at, at Chelsea, and there's no question about that. Um, but I think adding Wilfred Saha, does he, does he make the team better? Yes. Is he affordable? I would think so. Would Wilfred go? Yeah, I think he would. And when you're having your own portfolio and you've got your players in, you have to think where they could go, what they might do. And this media potential is the, you know, the column inches you mm -hmm. get. And Wilfred's certainly one of the players that I would think that the media would be very interested in. Yeah, certainly around January time, could be looking at that. Uh, he's, he himself as well has been quoted as saying, I have to experience the Champions League. I just need the opportunity. The writing's kind of on the wall though, isn't kind it? Kind of, kind of, absolutely. You've stolen my thunder there, but you're right. The window's there to say if he wants to go Champions League football, when the greatest respect to Crystal Palace, it ain't going to no. happen, is it? Um, and therefore... And even Palace, I think, will be aware of, look, OK, we've done well. I mean, they're flying at the moment, Palace. Mm -hmm. Another wonderful result the other night there with 10 men. I know, well. they've shot up the table yeah. all of a sudden. In and incredible. Appeared. Yeah. And that will also help your football index. But there's no question that people will be interested in Wilfred Zaha. They certainly will. And uh, if you are, in the last month, his football index price has risen from £1.93 to £2.35. Mm -hmm. And of course, as we said, with the January window around the corner, definitely one to watch there. We move on then to our second one to watch in today's episode. Uh, it's a man who's had quite a slow season so far, goes by the name of Ryan Fraser, plays for Bournemouth. And Al, as a fellow Scotsman, mm -hmm. what do you make of him? I'm glad we've linked in uh, Ryan Fraser today with, with the three players because with Wilfred we've got high end Ryan Fraser was fantastic for Bournemouth yeah. Bournemouth's form was fantastic and the, the, the two of them have dropped significantly Ryan's performances have dropped and because of that Bournemouth's results have dropped lost four in the bounds and Eddie Howe struggling to get that chemistry back that Ryan Fraser had before, linked with some big clubs, Emma. Liverpool has been recently with, he saw a 28% rise then. It's now dropped back to its starting price, but that's certainly saying something, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the potential there is if he gets back to what he was before, mm -hmm. and it's such a, that's quite a big rise in his stock, that if you got him at a low price, then you're hoping that something happens again. And of course, the other thing is, like you said, if he's going to be suited um, by other football teams, then he's a player that would be in certainly at that final third if he can get that kind of performance by I think again another player that uh, teams would be interested well in. also he's in his last year of his contract at Bournemouth mm -hmm. so really you'd be thinking Bournemouth are going to want to cash in in January so that's kind of imminent well they have to make a decision they have to say look we want you to stay we want you to get back to what you were and you have to just sit on your football index mm -hmm. if it's in your portfolio if he signs a new contract and hope his performances get to the point where Bournemouth are better your stock rises otherwise they look to cash in sell him and then he goes to a bigger club or another Premier Division club then you've got the media side of things and his football performance. I just think he's one that we're right to, to focus on. He's not at that high level but potentially 
it's there for you in Football Index to try and make some money with the knowledge of football you think you've got. Definitely, it's one to watch. It's been six months of ups and downs for Ryan Fraser's Football Index price, which is currently at the exact same price as it was in May of £1.29. Now then, we move on to our third and final one to watch today. Now, this guy's got a bit under the radar, but I know, Al, you are a huge fan of this man. He's yeah. a Blackburn Rovers playmaker, and his name is Bradley Dack. Now, he's had a very solid November, scored four goals in five games and his football index price has definitely reflected this yeah. what are your thoughts again I'm delighted we've put him in for the simple reason that there is a lot of value to be had in the championship when we're looking forward for players to be in your portfolio with football index Bradley I was at the game Saturday scores a goal for Blackburn scored an own goal as well which he yeah. didn't know much about to be fair still a goal um, still a goal we'll give it him still a goal. <laughs> um, and, and did really well but he's, he's a player that I think how old is he he's 25 25 yeah. potentially you know, 26, 27, 28, 29 is I think you're still going to see a really good Bradley Dack who might not necessarily be at Blackburn. I don't know how long his contract is for. He's got 18 months left of his I'm deal. Glad you're so with it's me kind of. Because I don't know any of that. <laughs> I just know how good the players Fact, are ma'am. and whether we think we should be including them in our portfolio. But there's no question Bradley Dack has a little bit more about him. Within the championship, he's sticking out like a sore thumb, mm. and I think Premier Division clubs might be looking at him for sure. Definitely. Well, like you say, within the championship, there's no match day dividends, but with a Premier League move, you could benefit from that, couldn't you? Yeah, you definitely and there, could. And there is value in the championship. There's no question. We, you know, we, you and I look and we scout and we think mm, we could, could put be, this player yeah. in this week. This player. There's loads of players out there. You have to decide on your football knowledge on who you think might be the one. I just think Bradley Dyke is a little bit under the radar just now and I think teams will take a chance. So Dyke's price has increased almost 10p in the last month with a value of 60p now. And producing the level of goals and assists that he does, I could definitely still see someone like West Brom maybe going for him if they do get promoted. Oh, your beloved Leeds. Yes, a bit of a title race going on at the yeah, minute. Yeah, we don't, we don't speak about, about, that. about that. Right, thank God that's the end of this now. We can wrap <laughs> that up. That is the end of another episode of Ones to Watch with Football Index. Thank you very much, Alan McAnally, for joining me. Remember, you do have to be 18 to use Football Index and make sure you are using it responsibly, please. Let us know in the comments if you are using it and let us know who you think are the ones to watch. Myself and Alan will be back here same time next week.